Hey guys, Paul Kempner here. So I wanted to do a little experiment here. Um, I've been looking online about uh, files and how to sharpen them and stuff. And I've read that you can dip them, or not dip them, but soak them in a water and phosphoric acid solution and it will actually resharpen your files. Or you can use uh, vinegar. So I actually had four files that I found that were just total trash. Um, kind of like this one. This was pretty bad. It's not nearly as bad. The other ones were, were coated in rust. Um, I'll add a picture of it. Here's what they look like. So I have a one gallon jug and I filled it with half vinegar or white vinegar and the other half with water. And I have the other files soaking in there but then I decided to show you this because I'm going to throw these in there as well. Um, so, like I said, this one, it's not bad. It's dirty. It needs to be cleaned up a lot. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I don't know if you can see the sheen. That means all the edges are rolled over on it, so there's nothing for it to cut on. I'll see if I can darken the image a little bit and maybe, maybe you can see it then. Well, it's hard to see it on camera. Um, so this is just a cheap wrench that you'd find, you know, a little hardware kit that comes with like a barbecue grill or something like that. Soft metal. It's nothing spectacular. And so like this edge right here. Oh, let's see if I can get it to focus it. Come on. All right. So you'll be able to hear the file. It's not even grabbing. It's more sliding. And you can see it, it marks it a little bit, but it's not even biting into it. That's both sides. You know, you can't, it's scuffing it more than anything. It's not grinding anything. This one, same thing. It's not really filing, it's more scuffing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these in the vinegar with the other files. Uh, let them soak for a couple of days. Come back, take a look at them, see how they look. And then try it on this as well. On this end, it hasn't been touched. And see if there's an improvement. So we'll be back. Um, I'm going to let them soak. I know with the phosphoric acid in water, they say an hour, and they say with vinegar, it needs to set or soak for two, three days for it to work because the vinegar is not as strong. So I'll put these in there, let them soak for a couple of days, and then we'll come back, um, clean them up, and then uh, try it again, see if there's a difference. Okay, guys, so the file has been soaking in this 50% uh, water, 50% vinegar for about three days now. Um, looks a little black. It definitely feels a lot sharper, but we'll see. Let me, whoop, let me kick the camera. This is uh, baking soda and water. Neutralize the acid. And this is just a nylon bristle brush. I can say it honestly stinks, <laughs> the, the vinegar and the metal. So, I need a little more cleaning up there. Let me dry it. And I'm going to spray some WD-40 on here just so it doesn't flash rust. 
<clears throat> Here we go. So this is the one where I tried on this piece right here. This little, you can see where it just kind of scuffed the metal. Let's see if I can get closer. You can see it scuffed it. It didn't bite into it. So we'll try this in. It hasn't been. And it's cutting metal off. Definitely eating into it. Okay, there's another one I'll try. This file I found in dirt field. It was crap, totally. There's a few of them in here. So. This thing was covered in grease, or in, uh, sorry, rust. You can see. You can see some of the ends, or some of the teeth have little knocks in them. A little chip up here. Okay, spray that. It's just a, a brass brush, if you're wondering. So, nothing on this edge right here. Oh, wow. That one's working pretty good. Let's see. Here's another one. This thing has been... This one's an old Nicholson file. Let's see if you can see it. Come on, focus. Let me spray this one. This one was the worst one out of all the files that I found. This one had tons and tons of rust and stuff in it. It was really bad shape. That's where I tried the other file. Let's try this corner. Yeah, cutting it. Oop. 
Let me move the vise. I'll move these files. See, more files. In fact, somebody's been filing aluminum or something with it. Have to get a copper pipe and try to get that out. Let's see what this one is. I'm trying to read it. It's hard to read that. Oh. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's cutting it. There's another one. This one doesn't have a name. At least I don't see one. Yeah, this one looks like it's been probably beaten up worse than the other one. It's got, let's see. I'll try this corner right here. Whoop, I keep hitting the camera. You see it hasn't been touched. That's kind of good. I would say, if I had to bet, the vinegar, soaking in vinegar, or, or acid in general, can help your files. I don't have a microscope, so I don't know if it's, um, you know, resharpen the teeth or, or what it is. But all I know is they weren't cutting before, and they're cutting now. This one says Japan on it. I don't know if you can see it. See the teeth better. And I hit the camera again. <laughs> so we'll try this little corner here. Oh wow, this one really good. Try the 
big one again. This other corner. So these, these other files were soaking for about two days longer than this was. But it is cutting better, so that's good. Well guys, it looks like it's about it. There's another corner, let's see. I'm happy with the results. I have several extra files now. So. Yeah. These were all found in a field. And they're cutting now. So, yeah. Cool. This one I bought, I think it was uh, $5 or something like that. But yeah. So, yeah. I guess if you have files that are rusted or dirty or clogged up or whatever, soak them in uh, vinegar for a while and it'll come clean. I just noticed this one says Simmons. So I have a Simmons, a Nicholson, a Japan, I'm not sure what the other one, this this little one's a JR or GR or something, I don't know. And then this one's an unknown. So cool. Alright, well. Hope this was interesting to some of you and maybe to help you with some of your files. Um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, be sure and hit the subscribe and the like button. And uh, until next time, this is Paul Kepner. Thanks for watching.